Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host, he's happy to lick the drips off a stranger's cone, the ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, thank you for joining us on this episode of the podcast, very excited to have you here also very excited to be counting down to that glorious number 100 a century of uh, podcast episodes so we're having a big giveaway thanks to lockhead vanilla and the green mountain flavor company uh, if you want to go and be in the running for this flavor extract pack uh, worth at over a hundred dollars uh, go to scoopskill.com click on the podcast uh, put in your name details there and we'll draw someone out when we film our live podcast on episode 100. So uh, again, nice to have you here. Very thankful for our sponsor for this episode, which is the Ice Cream Club. Uh, Rich Draper and the crew down there have been making ice cream in tubs, in containers, three gallons, one and a half, all different types of containers for people who want to sell ice cream in their business, but they don't necessarily want to make ice cream. There are a couple of options out there. Rich Draper and the crew down there in Florida have a great, great website, theicecreamclub.com. Check it out. And again, we thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now, we're talking in this episode about Nuts Cream Cherry, the, the, the triumphant, the trinity, if you will, of ice cream toppings. And here's a way for you, a very simple way for you to be able to uh, save money, save product, and save the environment, if you will. So what I have here is a beautifully displayed nuts cream cherry combination. Very nice. And that's what you would use to basically top most of your sundaes. Now, I'll give you an example. I don't mind steak and shake. Uh, they make pretty good shakes, hand spun shakes, premium ice cream shakes. So every time I go through, I tell them, I'll have a whatever shake, leave the cherry off. No cherry, sans cherry, don't want the cherry. I even say, if there's a cherry on that shake, when I get it, I'm going to wind down the window and throw it out in the parking lot, and the guy that's going to shovel up all of those cherries is going to curse my name. And wouldn't you know it, the shake comes out, it's got the cherry on. But true to my word, man of honor, throw it out in the parking lot. So here's the thing. I would get into the practice of, even if on your menu boards, like the ones behind us here, even if your Sundays are pictured or demonstrated or have nuts cream cherry as a standard option I would always ask would you like nuts cream cherry on that because you know one out of every 10 people doesn't want cream one out of every 10 people doesn't want nuts one out of every 10 people doesn't want a cherry so here's the thing it's saving you money it's saving you product it's saving frustration always ask hey would you like nuts cream cherry on that I know it sounds like a, another step in the process of someone ordering but I'm telling you what, it's basically catering a standard menu item to your customer's needs. It's looking out for them and they appreciate that. So simple thing, but always ask the customer, hey, would you like nuts cream cherry on that? A lot of times they'll basically say, look, I'm not interested in nuts, no nuts, no cherry. Um, but it's, it's a simple thing to ask. It's gonna save you time, save you money, save you food. And that's what we're all about, as well as having your customers very thankful that you're looking out for them. So. Very simple podcast today. Nuts, cream, cherry, yes, no, sweet. Go to scoopskill.com, click on the podcast tab, fill out the form for the extract pack. Thank you for the Ice Cream Club for sponsoring this episode. And if you have any quandaries, concerns, or problems about the ice cream business, hey, drop us a line, steve at scoopskill.com, or just check out scoopskill.com. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next video.